Combo, combine in the same. It yeah. can use MEMS to con uh, con convert it to yeah. optics yeah. or any kind of data. I mean, physical and data link layer is enough to encapture all these kind of conversion. It's the vibration, right? Yeah. 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 So you so can so translate that by vibration to into yeah. electromagnetic. Yeah, that's what I was saying that like if in one layer, like in the deep sea bed, it is the sensors are communicating through the it's collecting through acoustic link, and only one sensor is linked by a via optical fiber. The, oh. Then it is sending the signal via optical fiber to the to the so, uh, to the sink. But the sensor at the bottom, which is connected with the optical fiber, that is actually collecting signal through I don't acoustic think link. But, that is but there is a problem like to put the. There. Optical network <laughs> yeah. at the sea bed, mm -hmm. it will be a little bit difficult. Okay. Another thing is uh, there are current under the sea, so it will be moving. And sand so that is not the thing is that it's yeah. moving, right? And when it's moving, it changes yeah. the polarization. Mm -hmm. When it changes the polarization, it becomes, you know, more uh, T and TM gets mixed. And one will, like, you're, you're sending one, okay? So TM, maybe for that fiber, T propagates faster and TM is later, okay? And because of the mode, uh, PMD, it becomes like this. Uh, it's getting one, but it get, it's getting also noise from the other mode, okay? So it, it detecting zero. So in that case, you have to maintain, okay? If you fix something on, in the civet, there is the problem of fouling. Something can accumulate on that yeah. and it will just deter every signal or everything accumulates. Uh, are they applying this technique? Like, which of these routing protocol are they applying for MH370? Are you familiar? Yeah, with that? I think they are not using any routing protocols. They're, they're sending just the uh, unmanned vehicle. Yeah. And it is uh, collecting data by its own. Yes. And once it finishes the collection, it just pops up on the Oh, it's not uh, always sending the data. So no. if they had sent like and five or six autonomous vehicles and they needed to communicate to, with each other, then they would have played. Because I, no, no, I, I just want to know how they, they are doing it right now. Like, oh, okay. as per I, Shaju is like, you know, they're collecting and they pop up. Yeah, because I saw that uh, it uh, predicted that the life, like battery lifetime is eight hours, but the battery uh, finished or uh, Drained, uh, drained at seven after seven hours. So after that, it just came on the ship. Okay. It's yeah. Only eight what hours. Technolo what yeah. technology right now? Uh, all the submarines, you know, in the world, they're using. Do you know what technology they're using? No, submarines for what? For I have one more question. With base for communication. Some, yes, all the submarines. There's a lot of submarines underwater. Yeah. Do you know what technology they are using right now? I think the submarines are large uh, things, so they can use large antennas for sending data See. by using radio wave. Because oh, yeah. if you oh, have yeah. large antennas, right, you right. can send right. using right. radio wave. Yeah. Um, but you have to hide yourself from the enemy. Like, yes. you have to use yes. large antennas. So no, you, the right? <laughs> you are hiding the whole yes, submarine. So you will be. <laughs> 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 See the uh, existence of you. They are not uh, going to take your data. They, they just are going to kill you. I have a question. Like uh, at the beginning of your presentation, you showed that this kind of routing protocol can be used to find gas or oil, gasoline or oil, right? So, how the existing technology is detecting gasoline or oil, and how that can be replaced by this network? Okay. Uh, Currently, I think for gas or well exploration, the company sent some oh. equipment that goes under the sea and tries to uh, read the data. Okay. So from sea uh, some you just put some. It's very simple actually. Uh, let's see, in the ground surface, if you want to detect any oil or gas or something like that, you just blow some hammer here <laughs> and put a lot of sensor over there, and you can. Uh, uh, plot the images in 3D and what is inside actually under the ground you can detect you can see 3D images those sensors are floating or no just no, he is talking about creating vibrations or explosions what like when you explain hammer it uses the vibrations right yeah and that reflects back That's it's called P wave or uh, uh, ground wave so this vibration varies just based on the inside the, if it 
if you vibrate something on the ground, there are two waves. P wave and H wave, I think. Q wave. Q wave. Q wave. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Q, P wave travel faster than Q wave? It's Q wave, H wave, I think. I forgot. So based on those two wave differences, I mean the detection time differences, you can detect what's in the ground. And what about underwater? Underwater, same thing? The same. There is a seabed, right, underwater? Oh, they're, they're so sending yeah, some machines. Yeah, I'm sure there is even underwater. So, for now, everyone just sends some <laughs> machines or <laughs> drops something, and it goes under the sea, and once it is done collecting the data, it just, uh, it has some balloons that floats or uh, that I think something like the uh, live yeah, vest. Tank. Yeah, so the ER, I don't know, something floats it, so it will, it will just come out. Okay. And another thing I have seen in some video channels or TV channels, it used some weight to drop it, and once it is done, oh. it just disconnects the weight, so it will come out. Okay, so how it can be replaced by? The network okay if uh, you can send some say you have 10 vehicles autonomous vehicles those are say roaming so they have to hit the ground right yeah to get will, the vib vibration yeah, they will create vibration say one machine is creating vibration then the others are roaming capturing some places and capturing or getting data and once they get some data it can send the data in real time but currently they are not sending it in real time once yeah. they collect all the data, then they send yeah. the data. Oh, I see. So it has the possibility And what do you mean by data. environmental monitoring? Like, uh, what kind of application? Uh, pollution uh, monitoring. Say some sensors can detect chemical components. Yeah. Okay. So if in the water there is some components, so it will let them know that. Oil leakage. Yeah, uh, okay. The thing about uh, is uh, a platoon of autonomous vehicles which are cleaning up the riverbed of Burigonda. So, uh, so these are the stuff. Sorry. So th they will understand in which spots the pollution is accumulating uh, uh, in higher rate. So they will be monitoring that spot and uh, find out the sources of pollution. Like there, like there can be different sensors, like oxygen levels, oxygen yeah. sensor, yeah. sensor, heat sensors, other right. sensors, or just proximity yeah. sensors. Yeah. I'm just interested about the current application, like where, uh, like for gas, like oil leakage can all be a like good. A, a very uh, important part of underwater sensor network is like that. Uh, uh, you can't define the boundary of each country or the uh, or the oceans. Yeah. Okay. So the people are proposing that uh, by the sensors using the underwater sensor sensors, mm -hmm. you can actually define the boundaries of your ocean, mm -hmm. like the Bay of Bengal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any boundaries like this 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 part of the Bay of Bengal is ours mm -hmm. okay so the underwater sensor network will uh, resolve yeah. that issue like which so which part of the ocean is ours and which part of the world great uh, is is there any adverse environmental issues if you put the you know different sensors no I it should be a no. little bit no yeah. no 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 I mean it what happens if you want to uh, dispose uh, or like uh, if uh, uh, the sensor is not working, how do you clean that up? Like yeah. you just leave it there. Yeah. So that's what uh, an environmental issue because the recently news was out that our debris uh, reached right. faster than us in uh, uh, some uh, areas uh, of uh, ocean sea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, I, I think actually that uh, it's, like it's always very difficult to say because like every year there is like uh, uh, I mean, it's like, uh, it's like one million. Um, what, what do you call the tank of, of the, I don't know what they call it, in, in, in what do you call it, the big tank, tank of water, no, no, no. like millions of, mm, Okay, these are some containers, right? I have used yeah. this. Yeah. Every year, the millions of containers are just missing. All the And there's a lot of YouTube channels. Thank you, Shaju, for your awesome presentation. And with this, we are declaring the end of the talk session for this semester.
and from summer, hopefully very soon, we'll start a new session and a new model. Big in for me. Thank you. Yeah, we Thank appreciate you the much. effort that you put on this presentation. You know, arranging all the stuff, all the ports, and you know, probably you bought this. Uh, all this thing, all yeah. From I all hope money. the new order yeah. that's, that's awesome. It's very generous of you. We you know? really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And hopefully, we will continue this kind of effort. Okay? Mm -hmm. But I will see you 